Hi everyone, my name is Abdi for ASR 3D and Motion Graphics. Today I would like to show you how you can bring your Phoenix FD Fire setup right into Vantage and live preview that. What I have here in this scene is just actually a wall, a floor, a crumbling text which catches fire. So this is all what I have right now for as my fire setup. And I would like to see this in, in Vantage, which is right now not visible. So in order to do that, we have to change some stuff here. First, we go to Preview. And then uncheck Auto Reduction if it is on and set the reduction value to zero. Go to Show Mesh and make sure it is checked on. And here actually we can go and uncheck everything else what we don't need so particle view and then go to gpu preview so we're gonna land up with a empty with an empty grid so change to rendering section and set the mode from volumetric to mesh and change it here the surface channel set this guy to temperature and this will give you this block so every single voxel is actually turned into a mesh which is actually a good thing because right now if we go and edit mesh or add edit mesh to that we will start seeing our mesh in Vantage so that was the first step now in order to make that look like a flame or just take back the shape of our flame we go back to the to the rendering and then iso surface level we have to increase it increase it actually a lot so i'm gonna set it to a thousand one hundred and eighty so and that looks like this we can go and change that you know depending on what you want to do with it so, but I think somewhere around 1200 is, is doing a good job, something like this. And I set the mesh smooth to 2, it is on 0, I guess, by default. So, if you go to 0, we see just much more details here. But I thought an amount of 2 is making it look not bad at all. But yeah, right now we have some blob mesh but we have it in Vantage, which is pretty cool. Now, in order to see the flame as a flame, we need some materials that are actually helping us. So for this, I'm going to create a V-Ray material. Uh, let me map some material, V-Ray, V-Ray material and then change my reflection color to 14 here in the gray scale or in my black values whatever that gives me the dark gray here set the glossiness to zero and down in refraction bring it all the way up to pure white so 255 so now we have just a transparent kind of glassy thing here the rest of the settings we will adjust in a bit now we go and create a map just a general gradient ramp we will need that as our color map for for the flames so push that to this side and add a new one maybe so we have some around four colors and i'm gonna start from right to left and bring up the red color and make sure that it is a really dark red color here the second one can be a darkish orange this can be a little bit brighter orangish color so maybe something like this some brown here and this guy could be a brighter yellow something like that so this is our gradient and what i did here is changing 
the noise to fractal and set that to 0.9 size of 6 and levels about 3 and that gives me this map so I'm gonna link this to diffuse channel and right now when I go and add this to my fire the fire just disappears because there is nothing that we can see because it is really transparent okay so in order to see some colors there I dragged my ramp out and linked it to a color correction map set that to monochrome and bring the brightness up to 90 and contrast minus 9 somewhere and then link this to my refraction channel so where do we have the refraction there we go and that gives you those reflections at the wall depending on where your light source is right now i have sun as, as my light source and when i change the position of it it will affect the look of the flame and etc so now for the brightness of the color we gonna link that gradient ramp right into self illumination channel here and then we go to self illumination turn on gi and bring that up to about 40 or something so that will give us some brighter color of the flames now the look of the flames can be changed by changing this gradient type so we have four corner for example and we have box you can change it to different stuff depends on what you're working on but for in this case i just found out that normal is actually doing a pretty good job here so i set the gradient type to normal and here we have some gaps some transparent gaps if i make it bigger here so you can see we have some transparency between the flames and the actual shape or mesh you can leave it the way it is right now but when you go to full color and add some orangish color into that that can help closing this gap and then you can go and change the value to something like 6 or something or 10 or whatever and that will change the transparency so like i like that this way actually much better than having a gap in between so now when we move that that should look like some flames and there we go that's it the only thing that didn't work actually was the motion blur even if i go and um, turn that on it did not work the way i thought it will so and if i when i rendered that out it didn't work at all so it was without motion blur again so i don't know if this is something that i do wrong or is this something that is just not possible yet so because it just gets ignored but what you can do is uh, add some motion blur in post-production in after effects or somewhere and that will help selling this look much better than if you work on the colors and spend some time in creating a better material or just you know refining that what we have so you are going to land up with some really nice looking results. I hope this is helpful to you and see you soon. Bye bye.